Hey guys, it's me, Tommy, and in this video, I'm going to take out this sewing and I'm going to revamp it again. The reason why I'm doing an intro without it doing a voiceover is because I just wanted to talk to you guys, let you see my face. Um, this is not a talk through video, I'm going to go right back to doing my voiceover, but I definitely want to do an intro for you. Um, so yes, I'm still in the same hair, makeup, and outfit from my last video um, because this is the same day. Um, as I told you guys at the end of my previous video that I was going to take this bad boy out and revamp it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I just finished editing that video. It's saving right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take this sewing out and revamp it to that cute look that I was doing. Like, did you see when I did like that and it was like, bam? So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. What I thought of is like, should I make it into another sew-in? And I was like, no, that's kind of boring. So what I'm gonna do is actually make it into kind of like a wig for you guys. Yes, girl, a wig. So I'm gonna take my sewing out. I'm gonna wash my hair, deep condition it. I'm actually gonna go to the gym as well because I like to deep condition um with me like working out it sounds really weird but i just put like wash my hair i deep condition my hair by putting conditioner on my head a shower cap and then i have like a slap cap slap cap and then i put that on my head and then i just head to the gym i'm gonna come back i'm gonna shower i'm gonna detangle break my hair up and just jump right into the wig but i wanted to make sure that because i like using natural lighting see this is the reason why i do voiceovers because i just ramble on but i like to use natural lighting because it's just like the best so hopefully i can get all of that done before the sun sets it's now 2 16. doubt gonna get all of that done so you're probably gonna get the after again on saturday because i don't got no time during the week to be recording because a girl got a job um so yes so i'm gonna take the sewing out next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to wash my hair deep condition, go work out, come back, braid up my hair, make my wig, and then you guys, I guess we'll see like the full after on Saturday, but you guys won't mind because it's going to be in the same video next week. So let's just jump right into it. Here we go. So whenever I do my hair, I always like to pull out my iPad and I pull up YouTube. I am a huge fan of Zelda and Breath of the Wild, so I'm going to be listening to Zach Scott Games as he does that. And uh, while I am listening slash watching YouTube, I'm gonna go ahead and take my sewing out. I'm going to take away the section of my hair that's a leave out, tuck that away, and then use my X-Acto knife to remove my sewing. I would say this method is for experts. Please beware because you can either cut your hair or you can cut your tracks, but I'm using my mirror in front of me just to make sure that I am not cutting either or and I'm just cutting the thread only. After doing that, I'm going to remove my wig cap, and then after removing my wig cap, I'm also going to take out any strands of thread that's left in my hair. Then it's time to detangle. I'm going to unravel each braid and make sure I detangle each section, farting, farting, <laughs> starting from the ends, going my way to the roots. And I'm using my contour seamless comb. So after I use the wide tooth section, I'm gonna turn around and use the fine tooth section and making sure I detangle. Since I've had this sewing for about three weeks, I have a lot of shed hair and I don't want it to mat up when I'm washing my hair. So I make sure I detangle really, really, really well. My scalp is a little bit so I'm gonna take a piece of my aloe plant. And look, it is pouring out there. I can't really tell, but anyways. So I'm gonna cut a piece. I'm going to cut this piece right here of my aloe plant. I actually purchased this aloe plant from uh, Lowell's and it was so small. It was like this little piece right here. <laughs> and look at how big it's gotten. And I got bought it for like $3. So anyway, I'm just going to cut this piece off right here and I'm going to put that in my So now that my aloe leaf is cut, I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my scalp. I just cut it in each section. Uh, so I cut my leaf up in sections put it in half and then I'm going to apply it to my scalp. Um, as I stated in the previous clip, I'm not sure if you can hear me, um, but my scalp was a little bit irritated so I'm just adding the aloe to my hair and because I'm going to add conditioner to um, my hair as well, I'm going to remove my wedding band so I don't have conditioner all in my band. Using that same matcha green tea deep conditioner and I'm just going to pre-poo so what you see me doing right now is just adding conditioner to my hair. Um, and I'm gonna tuck it away and I'm just gonna pre-poo instead of deep conditioning. Pre-poo is just um, setting your hair up for your shampoo. Um, so I'm gonna just 
sort of decondition with this and then rinse it out, shampoo my hair, condition my hair, and then braid it up. So in this uh, clip right here, you're just seeing me apply the conditioner to my hair and then tie it up in a bantu knot. And I'm gonna repeat the same steps all over my hair, adding the aloe to my scalp. Uh, and then I think later on I did add the aloe to my hair as well if I had any leftovers. Add conditioner to my hair, tie it up in a bantu knot, and then work the next section. After doing that, I'm gonna apply my shower cap on my head, and then I'm going to apply the slap cap that I have onto my head as well. Because I'm gonna be going to the gym after this, I'm also gonna remove my makeup. So after going to the gym, showering, washing, and sectioning my hair off, I'm just showing you guys my braid pattern. So I have an anchor braid right there, and then I have an anchor braid to the side, and then the braid that's twisted up is my leave out. I did uh, connect all my braids together so that it's in one piece. And then I started making my wig, but it was frustrated because when I started making my wig, I realized that I'm gonna run out of head, head. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of hair. So I ended up just taking the wig apart and now I'm just gonna end up doing a sewing. So I apologize, you guys. I know I promised you I was gonna show you how to do it in a wig, but we're gonna have to do it with the sewing. So I'm gonna add that same wig cap that I had on from my last install, apply that onto my head, and now I'm gonna begin to sew the tracks onto my head. Somehow I feel like when I do a sewing, I use more hair on my head than doing a wig. It's just, it's just really odd, but whatever. So um, the way I'm doing my sewing method is I'm gonna be doing a C shape. I'm going to be laying the tracks towards my face. That way I can get more volume towards the front of my hair. And then when I'm laying my tracks, especially in the first braid, I'm gonna lay it underneath the braid. That way it can kind of hide what's going on in the back of it. And then I'm going to continue to sew my hair in a C shape. If you guys want to see like my sewing method, I will link the previous uh, sewing video um, so you guys can see how I did it. Now these short pieces are from when I did the flip over method. I'm going to recycle them. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them towards the front of my hair uh, so that it's going in that method I'm showing you. And this is the after you can see that it actually hides and covers it so you don't even see tracks being laid. Um, then I'm going to cut the excess wig cap off and I like the way it looks because it's so seamless. Like look at that. You don't need, I don't even really need <laughs> that anchor braid to cover it because like you can't even tell. So I'm going to eventually just recycle that hair. I'm not going to have a leave in, um, a leave out on that side. I'm just going to twist everything up, but just leave a leave in in the front of my hair just in case the wind blows. You just don't, you don't see it. So. Right here is the next day where I decided I'm just gonna twist my leave out out just to make it a little bit cheek. So I'm just twisting that up and I'm gonna tuck that behind my head. I know this video is going super fast guys, but I don't want it to be long. We're already about to be eight minutes into this video. <laughs> so I'm gonna tuck that into my head and I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like after the sewing is complete. Nice and full and fluffy. Just gonna fix my bang part a little bit so that it's nice and layered. And then I'm actually going to twist my hair up um, and then add some rollers to the end. Just something different instead of just doing it, washing it and, and just going. So the next day, my hair is all twisted up and I have my rollers in the end, so it's time to just take everything out. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna work my way to the top. Removing the rollers. Oh, wait, nope, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I'm gonna remove the scarf so uh, that I can just see what it is. My edges are sort of laid down. Yeah, there we go. I'm not really a stickler with laid edges too much. Like, I'm natural. If my edges wanna flare up, let it flare up. It's, it's whatever. As long as it looks kinda sorta neat, then I guess I'm good with it. But I'm just going to unravel my twist and then gently separate each twist so that it just makes it a little bit fuller and doesn't look so like childish. So I'm just gonna continue to do that throughout my head. I feel like I really sped through this tutorial. So I'm just gonna be quiet right now as you guys see me just unravel my twist. Um, and before I actually stop talking. Um, so the rollers didn't actually curl some parts at the end. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Off camera, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna spritz the ends of my hair and then I'm going to use my blow dryer to help it curl back up and just diffuse it a little bit to add some volume, which you won't see in here, but that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, go ahead and, and just watch me unravel the rest of this hair. So 
now that everything is all unraveled, here's the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want it to be a little bit more detailed and you don't mind the video being super long, I can go ahead and make it more detailed for you, but I just didn't want it to be such of a long tutorial. Um, I really love this style. I got a lot of compliments. Actually, after recording this video, I went to the mall to pick up some stuff for my trip to Mexico, and I got a lot of comments on it. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in my next video.